Hey, what's up my fellow collectors? Jim here with another figure review and today we're taking a look at the Mafex Suicide Squad Deadshot figure. Definitely very, very excited to have this in my collection. Um, I was going back and forth between whether I should get the SH Figure Arts or the Mafex, but um, I think Mafex really just gave us much more accessories, which is what kind of did it for me as far as picking this guy up. We get a lot of accessories with this and SH Figure Arts just kind of drop the ball accessory wise. I have heard that he is a little bit out of scale, so I mean it doesn't bother me too much, but um, as far as the packaging, you get a nice big open window, you pretty much see everything that does come with them. Get a really nice image down here of the figure, you got Deadshot, Mafex, number 38. Top you got the Suicide Squad DC, on the bottom you got all of that. On the one side you do get a cool image of the figure, along with Suicide Squad. The other side you have a you know full body shot of the figure. Then on the back you got a bunch of cool images of the figure with different options showing the accessories and some poses you can get them into. But yeah, that is the box. So let's crack uh, this dead shot open and uh, check them out. Okay, and here he is all out of the packaging. And guys, M Mafex did a great job on this figure. I mean, the overall sculpt and paint it's just absolutely amazing. They did a great job. And we get a bunch of accessories. Um, the first accessory that we do get is his awesome assault rifle, which just looks really good. Nice paint, nice sculpt on it. I mean, it even has the uh, legible I am the light, the way on it. Really, really cool. Nice scoped on the top there. Really nice detail on his things. Really cool. Then you get his matching, you know, uh, pistol with that, which again, I mean, doesn't have as sharp details as in the um, the other gun. But I mean, this just thing just looks really, really good. Nice sculpt, nice paint all over it. And then the kicker, you get this mac mast head, which just looks absolutely great. I mean, look at that thing. That they just did such a good job with this, and this is probably how I'll have mine displayed. Even though I do like the the Will Smith head sculpt, I think they did a great job on it. But this just looks too badass. You got all the sculpt work, and you know the the texture on it. You can even see the eye underneath. Great, great job on this um, headpiece. Then of course we get like one, two, three, four, five, six different um, hands. You get the two fist hands. You get two hands, which is basically for you know holding his guns, machine gun. You get two relaxed hands, kind of like open palm. And I mean all the hands are done really nice. You get this nice kind of you know black on the back, and then we do get color with a little bit of texturing on the palm part course you get another pair of hands that are like almost a little bit on the grabby side you get two of those and then you get two pairs of hands that are for gripping I guess his knife or for gripping the um, you know this part of his gun here so you can get him in a two-handed pose but you get two two pairs of hands that have a uh, grip but the one like these two are a little bit bigger than these two so bunch a bunch of accessories with him and of course you do get the Mafex stand which of course is your standard clear stand you can port the dynamic arm into either one of these and that hinges at the bottom hinges in the middle hinges at the top swivels at the top and then of course you do have the clamp so you know really nice job with the accessories and then taking a closer look at the figure itself I mean I think they did a really good job with the head sculpt. I mean, is it spot on? No, it's not spot on, but I mean, you can definitely tell looking at it who it is, you know? Really nice job with the sculpt and paint on the beard. And I love how they have the little thing going around his ear all the way to the other side. It's really, really nice sculpt and detail and paint in that as well. Of course, on the collar, you get the I am the light the way again. And then all the entire suit is just sculpted and painted so well really really nice job on all of his armored parts get different textures throughout it you get the darker reds great great job with it i think it looks fantastic i think it looks really good really nice detail on all the armor bits 
really nice detail on his um, gauntlet uh, guns there. They turned out really good. And again, you have the writing on it. And of course, he's just riddled with tons and tons of clips and extra, you know, knives. And, and, you, and you can store all the weapons on him. So you can put the one gun in here. That just looks really, really nice. And of course, we do have these clips here, which are on a hinge. So you can hinge these you know, up and down if you want to. Nice sculpting throughout the pants. Really nice job on the knee pads. They look great. Nice worn look to them. And then of course we do get another accessory down here which is a little tiny knife. And of course it's pretty, you know, pretty plain and basic but it does look good and you can port it on the holster right here at his boots. And then his boots again look really really nice they did a really good job with his boots i love the paint i love the sculpt in those things they look really nice nice sculpt on the laces and everything really really good job on the boots then again coming up the side of the figure again we get really nice sculpt and detail on everything and the back is really impressive i do like this little back brace here you get nice you know uh texturing all throughout it and of course you do get two more guns which you can you know port on the back part here so you get pretty plain black you know little pistols and they do port in the back of that so that's really cool I mean some of this stuff does and this actually has a hinge on it as well so that's really nice and as far as all of these clips on the front of them, these are pretty much in there. They're not coming out. But I mean, it is nice that, you know, we have the hinge on these at least, you know. And it is nice that there is places and holsters for him to hold his weapons, you know, on him. I do like how they at least gave us that option. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, the overall look of the figure is just oh, really, really good. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, um, as far as articulation, his head doesn't really go up very much. I mean, of course, just because of the sculpt just kind of runs in on the back there. But you get down a little bit, and then you can, the neck will also hinge. So, you know, nice movement down, only about that much up. Of course, you do get, you know, rotation out of that. You get nice side to side. The arms do hinge out pretty much horizontally. That will go all the way around. You do get a little bit of shift forward and back in there and a little bit of shift up and down. You do have a bicep swivel, right? Man, my mind's just really, really stuck. There it goes. Yeah, you do have a bicep swivel in there. You just have a single bend at the, uh, you do, it's a double bend, but the, you know, you crash pretty quick on these sculpts. So you're only going to get a little bit better than 90 degrees out of that. So that's a little bit unfortunate. You do have a cut right here, which is, you know, hidden well by the armor. And that'll give you a nice side to side motion. We'll give you a little bit of, you know, rotation, but it kind of, just because of this piece here in the back, the way this, the sculpt is, just kind of like moves it up as you rotate it you know but I mean you can get really nice back with it not so much forward because the sculpt kind of hits there but you know you get nice all around motion with that but you're gonna you are gonna crash on the sculpt in, in some places uh, the legs are on a drop down so you can drop down they come up about that much um, even drop down they don't really come back very much Going out, you get about that much going out, so that's not too bad. Pop those back up in there. Of course, you do have a thigh rotation around that ball there. You get double jointed knees, which give you nice range. And, you know, don't look too bad. But nice range out of the double jointed knee. Oh, his gun just fell out of this holster here. And then, of course, for his boots, um, you get decent range going up. You don't really get very much going back. Of course, you get a full rotation out of that. And you do get a little bit of pivot out of that as well. So, I mean, you know, aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing looking figure. <clears throat> Excuse me. I sat on his face. 
really really nice figure you know overall it looks really good it is a little bit kind of fiddly just because there's so much going on with them but I mean it's just awesome how they give you all these different you know options with everything I think that's great oh and you do have you know waist swivel as well and waist pivot so I mean you get really nice movement with this guy all the way around and like I said that thing in the back hinges up so really really nice job with that and as far as the other head of course it is connected on the neck and you do not get the rotation out of this unfortunately that you do with the you know unmasked head so I mean that's a little bit on the disappointing side because all you're really going to get is you know um, swivel you're not really going to get much up and down because it's not like the unmasked head that has the neck that's all connected together but that just looks absolutely badass and as far as swapping out the hands it's pretty easy it's on that little ball joint and of course the hands do swivel and hinge and you can set the hinge to you know whichever um, whichever way you want it to go let's put this back on here see if I can get him he does hold on to his weapons really really nicely and let's get this hand yeah the one thing I can say is like just just fiddling with them it is like I don't know to me I just I'm just like I don't want to break anything that's kind of how I feel like you're just like you feel like you got to be really really delicate with them Okay, so swapping the hands out wasn't too bad, but like, you know, back here, just constantly grabbing onto this, and these are constantly kind of like sliding out. I just, you know, you, just, you, you almost feel like you just got to be really gentle with it. But let's put this on here. Get him in a cool... So that's awesome as you can get him in a nice double, you know, holding his gun with two hands. That's awesome. That is great. Now the one thing that I have been hearing is that Deadshot is a little bit on the tall side. Uh, but he's at six and a half inches. So, I mean, that's not too, too bad. Um, here is the Mafex Batman. So you do see, uh, now I see what, what people are saying. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely got some size over the Mafex Batman. And I don't, I mean, I know Will Smith is pretty tall, but I don't know if he's that much taller than Ben Affleck. Um, here's the SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn. I mean, he's definitely towering over her as well, but, you know, that's not, that's okay. You know, he's definitely going to be taller than Harley Quinn. If I can get her to stand up here. Here's a, a Marvel Legends Iron Man. So that gives you a little bit of size comparison as far as what he is going to look like with other figures on the shelf. I mean, overall, the figure just looks badass. I mean, we get a really, really nice head sculpt. We get tons of accessory accessories. It is, I mean, mine was a little bit more, I think, than the S, or no, I think the SH figure, the SH figure arts is a little bit cheaper. But I mean, all you get with the SH Figure Arts is just this gun. I think that's it. You do get the, you know, masked head. But you definitely don't get as many um, options as, and weapons with the SH Figure Arts. So, I mean, if you're not worried about the scaling differences between the two figures, then, you know, definitely go with Mafex to get your Deadshot figure. Because this thing just looks absolutely great. Really, really good job. I love the way it looks. But yeah, that's it, guys. That is the Mafex uh, Suicide Squad Deadshot figure. It's definitely an awesome figure. Like I said, it comes with nice accessories. You know, really nice posability. Get a really good Will Smith head, along with the awesome mask uh, Deadshot head. Yeah, I think it's great. But yeah, let me let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. You know, have you picked them up? Do you want to pick them up? You know, what do you think? Does, do you think it looks good? Do you think he's too tall? Let me know in the comments below, but uh, thank you for watching the review, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on our next figure review. Take care.